Okay, this is electrical trade theory. And what are we gonna do is we're gonna prepare for the upcoming national exam paper. And I'm gonna split these videos into eight parts. So in this first part, we'll be taking a look at the possible question one that could come up in the national exam paper for electrical trade theory and two. Now, section A is about AC circuit theory. And in question one, we need to define frequency for two marks. To define frequency, it is the number of cycles completed in one second. Now at 1.2, a waveform is represented by the following equation. E is equal to 100 sine, and inside of the brackets, we've got 314,28, and that represents the angular velocity in radians per second. Don't forget to convert radians per second into degrees. We multiply by 57,3. In the first part of this question, we need to determine the maximum value of the EMF. And this is for one mark. To determine the maximum EMF, it will be 100 volts. Looking at our sine wave, our maximum value is right at the top at 90 degrees. In the second part of this question, for four marks, to determine the RMS and average values of this equation, to determine the RMS value, it'll be 0.707 multiplied by the maximum value. And therefore, the RMS will be 70,7 volts. To determine the average value, it'll be 0.637 multiplied by the maximum value. And that will give us 63,7 volts. In the third part of this question, calculate the instantaneous value of the EMF. 12 milliseconds after zero, and this is for three marks. So what we do is we substitute everything inside the equation, and don't forget to convert milliseconds to seconds, we divide by 1000, and to convert radians to degrees, we multiply by 57,3. Therefore, the instantaneous value at 12 milliseconds will be minus 58,9 volts. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, to share, and uh, keep tuned, keep in tune because we're going to be watching another seven parts of this national exam series.